So I was reminded today, as I'm going to remind you, and I'm going to remind myself again as I'm speaking, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Nehemiah 8.10 tells us that. The, the joy of the Lord is a powerful way to obey God. It is a powerful defense and is a powerful way to confront the sin in our lives and to confront the curses on our lives, obeying the Lord with joy. The Lord told the children of Israel in Deuteronomy 28, he, he told them that because they did not want to serve him with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, that he would send enemies, send their enemies to them, and they, they would serve them in nakedness and hunger and thirst, and he would place, and they would be able to place their yoke on them. So when we surrender ourselves to the world, we forfeit the joy of the Lord. And we are subject to the curse of the hardships of this life. The Bible says that when we are in Christ, we are to think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is, which is meant to try us, as if something strange happened to us, but rejoice in as much as we are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, we will be glad with an exceeding joy. That is what Jesus is saying. He's saying that we find joy in his presence and we find joy in him as we obey and we serve him with our lives.